What up, Swag fans? It's your boy Swag TV uh, coming with the halftime reaction to the Arkansas Pine Bluffs versus Prairie View game. So far, the score is 21 to 9, man. I just got to say, just right off the bat, uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff Doc Gamble is being out coached terribly. I mean, Prairie View coaches are doing their thing. To me, especially in the first quarter, really all Prairie View just made two plays. Because other than that, it was three and out. So in the first quarter, they made those two big plays. Uh, Juwan Pass had the, I think, 56-yard run. Uh, and they made one more big play. You know, he made a throw. I can't remember who he made the throw to. But uh, I do know in the second half, I mean, in the second quarter, you know, Dean Prairie View actually started moving the ball consistently. You know, it wasn't no just one big play here, one big play there. No, they really started moving the ball consistently. Uh, like I said, with Arkansas Pine Bluff, so far, you know, their coaching is terrible. Uh, Skylar Perry played like straight booty meat in the first quarter. I mean, he probably should have threw at least, at least two touchdowns, uh, if not three, in the first quarter. He was literally overthrowing his receivers by a mile. They was wide open. It was two times that I know Wilkes was wide open for a touchdown. Skylar Perry just overthrew him. So that's why they subbed him out. You know, uh, they didn't, They put a new quarterback in, number 15, in the start of the second quarter, and he's been in the game. Um, thankfully, they put him in because he finally hit Wilkes on an 82-yard touchdown with eight minutes and 16 seconds to go in the second quarter. Uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff, bright sides, I guess, is uh, their punter. He doing pretty good, crazy, I mean. I know that's probably off some off the wall, but I mean he's doing great. He done put uh Prairie View inside their 10 yard line at least three or four times. Uh the kick returner and the punt returner for uh Arkansas Pine Bluff, he's a beast. Number 13, uh he a beast. I mean, he all over the field. He I mean, it's hard to tackle him. Uh Prairie View. Uh Juwan pass. He got two rushing touchdowns. He got the long 56 yard rushing touchdown. And in the set, the I say in the second quarter, that's when he kind of started getting cooking a little bit in the passing game. Him and Mullins, they hooked up a few times. Uh, so, uh, so Mullins done definitely started to heat up. And what else? I think as of right now, that's it. I'm hoping in uh, the second half, man. You know, you know, Coach Gamble, man, I'm hoping he he change some stuff around, really make some adjustments. Because, like I said, right now he's being outcoached, I mean, by a mile also. So, hopefully the coaching get better for them. If not, Prairie View's going to win this with ease because they're going to come back out. And, I mean, they probably going to run the table on them if the coaching doesn't get better. Uh, but that's all I got right now for the halftime report. I'll see you again after the game. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.